38 special verses, 32 Smith and Wesson long. And what we have today is Buffalo Bore hard cast wad cutters. These are both standard pressure rounds. So these rounds can be used pretty much in any revolver. It's gonna be safe for any revolver. And the 38 special is a 150 grain hard cast rated at 850 feet per second. The 32 Smith & Wesson Long is a 100 grain hard cast rated at 900 feet per second. But how will they do in these stub nose revolvers? Taurus 605 over here versus the Ruger LCR 327 Magnum. So we're gonna test these rounds. So first we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. Then as always, we're gonna go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of bologna that kind of simulates the pectoral muscle amount of flesh there covered by four layers of denim followed by one quarter inch medium density fiberboard that pretty much represents ribs or sternum and how most ammunition stops in this ballistic box with most hollow point handgun rounds is back of the jug of jug three back of jug four that's about typical and that's usually representative of about 15 inches of ballistics gel to 18 inches of ballistics gel so let's get started with the test and see how the 38 special compares to the 32 smith and wesson long first up is the 38 special we're about five yards from the target about four yards from the chronograph we'll see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get with the standard pressure 38 special 899 917 903 899 918 a little bit of smoke there uh, pretty consistent accuracy and velocity overall and above rated velocity now let's see how the 32 smith and wesson long compares 32 smith and wesson long we'll see how this compares to the 38 special this is rated at 900 feet per second. 811. 822. 832. 805. 829. So accuracy is about the same for me. However, the recoil in this particular uh, revolver compared to that Taurus, which is actually heavier, about half the recoil in this to me so pretty low recoil option a little bit below rated velocity however they probably rated it in a little bit longer barrel so let's hit the ballistic box and see how they compare to each other 38 special wad cutter 150 grain hard cast wad cutter we'll see what it does 8. all right this is interesting you kind of back the uh the uh denim out Pretty substantial damage, even though it didn't blow the, the bologna pack apart. It took a big chunk, uh, a big wad of that meat, if you will. All right, let's see what we got in water jugs. First jug, that has a lot more damage than, than something of this nature. A wad cutter's full metal jacket. They typically don't split the whole jug. So that's hitting with a lot more force than typical. Jug two, we went straight through it. Nice uh, straight path, it's not tumbling doesn't appear to be at least and we are in the same trajectory straight through three impact in four we have the same trajectory going through through jug four impact in five so there's no dent out the back of jug five it appears the bullet is is in jug five so we're looking at about 21 inches of ballistics gel penetration something like that in comparison to this particular medium and what we have is actually a little bit of deformation even though it is a hard cast bullet so i would say it didn't really over penetrate too badly for what it is and it did quite well i would say I definitely would not want to get hit with something like that any more than a hollow point. So let's see how the 32 Smith & Wesson Long compares. 32 Smith & Wesson Long, we'll see what we get for damage with this particular cartridge. 
All right, easy to shoot round. Yeah, nice centered hit there. So let's see what we got. And this kind of surprises me because there's a whole bunch of missing meat in there. So it really did what a wad cutter is supposed to do. It almost looks like more damage than the 38 Special, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but what you would expect in fiberboard as well. So let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, jug one. We actually have a pretty good amount of damage. There's a lot of fiberboard and denim in the first jug. I don't recall seeing that with the 38 Special. Jug two, we went through jug two. Impact on three, trajectory is remaining the same. That was cool. Uh, jug three and jug four were stuck together because the bullet itself was wedged between three and four. So penetration is gonna be pretty much on par with maybe 16 to 17 inches. So here's that projectile. And again, we have just a little bit of deformation, but not too much. So overall, these rounds did quite well. Um, the 38 Special is obviously more powerful. However, what we were getting with that is a little bit more penetration. 32 Smith & Wesson Long, we had the exact amount of penetration that we get with most defensive hollow point ammunition. So that's really, really good. However, the recoil was almost none. It's kind of like 22 recoil with with center fire hollow point ammunition performance so in that respect it is an excellent round for a low recoil option as opposed to something like a 327 in that 327 32 hr magnum or something like that and this would work well in any any 32 smith and wesson long revolver so overall both did really well i wouldn't consider the 38 special a low recoil round even though it is a standard pressure this is however but there's not really a whole lot to say about these rounds they certainly perform quite well for what they are so that's what you get today with the buffalo bore hardcast wide cutters so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching